it's time to build R2-D2. All right, I am in our warehouse office area here. You can see behind me, I got Little Nerdy, I got Princess Nerdy, and I got the first box of R2-D2 to build him. So, you can see how excited she is. As a reminder, the way this works, every month they send you four pieces, except for the first month, which is this, so it's only got two sections. And then we get it for a grand total of 100 sections. Are you already tired? Yeah. Oh my goodness, we just started. A lot of money, but this will make pretty much the ultimate like R2 greatest collectible ever. Let's see what's in the first box. Da -da -da. <laughs> All right, so ooh, we have the magazine that it comes with, two issues. We'll go into more detail with this here in a minute. We have a build your own R2 thing. Oh, it shows our gifts on the back and uh, uh, uh. Da -da -da -da. there he is when he is finished in all his glory. You guys want to see? Yeah. We also have R2 parts kits. Look, kids, these are the first two kits to build R2. What do you think? Yeah, fine, building it. So we have our two magazines. We're going to go through each section and then head on over to our building table and build our section. All right, issue number one. So let's take a look here. Oh, that's cool. So those are the drawings they made before the first movie. This is uh, Ralph McQuarrie made these. He's the guy who designed it. And that's his first drawing, what he thought R2-D2 should look like. So I guess they got rid of this arm eventually. Isn't that cool, Gracie? These pictures here, Luke and Grace, this shows you how they made the movie. So like some of these pictures, these are actual sets that they built. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And that's George Lucas. That's the guy who wrote it. Oh, this is cool. So this is a R2 design. So they show us everything he has and all the different things he can do. So oh, he, in real life? No, like R2 in the movies. So he can be a co-pilot slash navigator and tell your ship where to go. He can do maintenance and fix C-3PO. He's got a fire extinguisher. He can store data like a, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Uh, what else can he do? That's funny. Yeah, he's got all these these tools too. He's got a grasping arm, a computer plug-in, a power charger, and a lubrication arm. So yeah, he can do all sorts of cool things. Here's some more pictures of R2 and more of the stuff he does. Scanners. So this section talks about light emitting diodes with his LEDs, like the lights that we have behind us and on the bookshelf. Christmas lights. This talks about how they work here. That's pretty cool. Maybe before bed we can read this one night, learn about the science and how they use LEDs in robotics. And here we can see what parts it came with today. So it looks like we have, this is a right shoulder plate here. This here is a photoreceptor face plate. That's pretty cool. That's another face plate. That's a reflector. This is the wire that hooks up the LED lights inside of them. And there's LED lights inside of them? Yeah, he does like everything. This is like a real life R2. Okay, now is I'm going to do all my chores. Well, I don't think he's going to do your chores for you. Good try, though. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is how we assemble it. Today, we'll have a piece that looks like this. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if it will turn on. We'll find out. You ready to go over and build it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, I am in the low rider chair here. The kids are in the high tops. Trust me, I didn't shrink. But we're going to open this guy up and get rolling. Ta-da! He opened it. Tell me that doesn't look familiar. No, it does not. Really? That's his little eye. Oh. Come on, is it really? Yeah. We got our tool. Thank you. All right, let's look at our instructions here. Step one says we're gonna build this little part here. So we need this, this face is down. I don't think that goes on next. I think this goes on next. See, it's gotta be set in there. See how that, see the little exit? Like the little, that's where it plugs in. Uh -huh. That has to come out that hole like that. Now we need to screw it down. We use one of these. We will. Uh, but screws. first it gets three screws. See the picture? Uh -huh. Well, I'm just kind of confused how, which one it is because it looks big, but it looks like this. I don't know. So this R2 will be half the size as the one in the movie. He'll be they about 21 really? inches. That is almost two feet, but he won't be as big as like Galactus. Oh, oh yeah, not She's not, a not really Galactus. small. This is called the LED cluster. So the, what's an LED again? You guys remember? Um, those lights that are on the couch. And yeah. So those are lights. We just put the lights in. Next thing it's telling us to do is to untie the wire that holds the lead together. So this is what's going to connect everything. So let's like undo it. It looks like a hand. Yeah, I can undo them. Oh, I already did it. That's it. Compare the plugs on each side of the lead. The smaller plug fits into the LED socket. So which side's smaller? This one or this one? Oh, that one. Okay, so that means it goes into here. Bing. All right, the assembly should look like this. So that piece is done for the moment. I don't know why they gave us this part now, because we don't need it yet, unless it goes like here or something. So stage one assembly is complete. Let's go back to the couch, read the magazine, and get ready for stage two. All right, so issue one is built. Now we're gonna go through issue number two here and get ready to build 
part two. You ready here? Let's take a look. Oh, there's another cool diagram of R2 from originally. That's them working on shooting, if I remember correctly, that's a trench run on the Death Star. Oh, and Daddy. It's a model. You all right back there, princess? Yeah. All right, I'm moving. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So this one talks about the droids they created over the years and how they created BB-8. Oh, cool. This one talks about all the stuff C-3PO can do. What do you think he can do, Grace? Oh, barely nothing, dude. He can barely even walk. He can barely even walk. Nice. All right, so let's see what he can do. He's got a sensor, an energy transducer, a logic function computer. Yeah, you're right. He can't do much, can he? No. Way to go, can't. 3PO. You are useless. Babe. Good thing we're not building a 3PO. Yeah. Oh, he's got an olfactory sensor. I guess that means he can smell things. Okay, cool. This part's going to talk about how they do the integrated circuits, the robotics. Oh, so we can go read this part later on and yeah. see. This talks about the very first commercially made integrated circuit. Right, so like... that's a circuit board right there. That's like the brains of the computer or a droid. Oh, and that's what we're building today is R2's right leg. We're starting it. Oh, we are? Yep. So that's the right outer plate, the stabilizer, there's a couple fittings, oh. cap, and that's what we're going to finish up today. That's what it'll look like when we're done. Are we ready? Yep. All right, let's head over to the table. All right, it's part two. Got it open. We got a big piece. A big piece? Yeah, and a naughty. bunch of little pieces. Oh, little oh yeah, naughty. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. So, it says, take the stabilizer which is the thing that looks like a U. Okay, so that's part of the thing we got last week that we didn't know what to do with. I don't know why they gave us this part now, because we don't need it yet. So this is from part one. Sorry, I made the camera shake on you folks. This goes into here, and then it gets two metal screws. Easy enough. Oh, those are big screws. Bigger than the last ones. Can you get those metal screws without shaking the table? Where did I put it? Oh, right here. Arf. That didn't scare you, really. That didn't scare you? No, but I was brave for you scared me. Oh, you were being brave? Okay. All right, let's get going here. Let's get this done. Let's get ourselves a droid. Don't lose any parts there, kiddo. Princess. And that's the prince and that and I, princess, and you can mom's queen, and Gus is a monkey. Gus is a monkey. <laughs> Gus is our dog. All right, that part's done. Now it looks like we're doing another little metal the piece. Minecraft head. Well, it looks like this. It looks like two little circles. Oh. These in. Well, it is Mr. Can I just Grace? keep this like this because I know we're going to be doing that. Okay, yeah. so that's done. All right, next up, part six. It says to put this piece together with this piece. It looks like they just fit in there. Oh, okay. We apparently need super glue, which it didn't come with, which is kind of annoying, but I get it. You can't ship super glue from what I understand in these kits. I'll have to get some super glue for this because I don't have any in the house. Oh, we could still build it. We'll just have to glue this part later on. So the super glue definitely puts a damper on things, but let's, let me show you guys how this goes, and then that'll be it for step two. So once we have super glue, We'll pretend this is super glued. Basically, this goes here. And As Luke calls it, the Minecraft head. And a screw. We'll go here. And then we put the other piece that we built in step one. That's right here on top. But without the super glue, we ain't doing that. So I'm going to have to back up. I can't see me. I'm going to have to get some super glue to finish this. But otherwise, we have completed step one and step two. So we'll just have to super glue that part later and then we're done. But what do you guys think after doing the first two steps? Was that fun? Yeah. I'm going to have a treat. You're going to have a treat. What kind of treat? Cookie. And it's I have you. one piece circle cake. It, All right. It comes with two. Two. So now that we've got the first two parts done, let me ask you guys. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Do you recommend it? Do you think it'll be fun for other kids? You can yeah. tell your friends about it. So I thought it was fun too. So I think it's cool because it's not too old for them but also obviously not too young for me it's a really cool thing to do with your kiddos Bye, or by yourself one. either one so in the end yeah i highly recommend it i think this was a ton of fun whether you're doing it with kids whether you're doing it by yourself whether you wanted to do it with your i don't know I, this is great for anybody who loves star wars and likes to you know work with their hands and just build stuff i thought it was pretty cool i do recommend it like i said in the last video if you haven't seen it it is pricey but it's an awesome collectible that we're going to have in the end how old will you be when r2 is done nine or ten how old will you be Five, four, six. Six. Very good. All right. So remember, guys, we can build R2, but you have to get old, but you don't have to grow up. All you have to do is be cool and stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. Later.